So, you know secrets. Good. I'm glad that you have secrets. Otherwise, everything I'm about to do to you would be a complete waste of both of our time. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the video. Today, I'm going to be doing a homebrew background for 5th edition. Now, the backgrounds aren't exactly a class. It's a much simpler thing than that. The background is just kind of what you would do for a living outside of how good you are in a fight. Right, so some of the backgrounds kind of relate to combat. You've got the soldier, right? But others are more just what you did with your life before you became an adventurer. There's sailors and guild artisans and things like that. And I was listening to a podcast and I actually listened to a few different podcasts, so don't quote me on this one, but I believe it was Game Master's Journey. And the host was talking about making a torturer background for an Underdark campaign they did. But they didn't give out any stats, so I'm like, okay, I like the idea of the torturer background, that seems neat. But now I need some stats, so I've made this one myself. Now, the thing I like is, off the bat, I really feel like... There's a lot of two skill combinations that aren't associated with a background, right? So you've only got 13 backgrounds, but there's so many different combinations of two skills. Each background gives you two skills to take. And there's a lot where you know, there isn't a background, say, for persuasion and history, if those are the two skills you want from your background. So for this one, I decided the ones that would make the most sense in a sort of chilling way would be intimidation and medicine, right? Because that's what they're doing. They are intimidating, but they need to bring that medical knowledge to bear to do their job and do it well. So for a write-up, I've got, you have delved the mysteries of the body and the mind with an eye for the ways in which they can be broken to your ends. You know how to hurt without killing and strain the mind without losing the valuable information within. Typically, a torturer will act in an official capacity, on behalf of some civic authority, but you may work with your GM when another explanation for your character's past makes sense. As I said, the skill proficiencies are Intimidation and Medicine. The tool proficiencies are Torturer's Tools, surprise there, no additional languages, and you basically get the same clothes as the Rogue, a set of dark common clothes with a hood. I specified on here that that hood may or may not cover the face, right? Because some torturers go full on with like the executioner's hood, so that even torturing, it's not really known who's doing it to them. I just figure you can go either way on that. I didn't have a covered face in the art for this card, but if that way works best for your character, go with it. Now I'm not going to read through all of the personality traits and ideals and flaws and bonds that I made, but a few that I thought were kind of fun. For personality trait we have, there is no call, even in our line of work, to be anything other than courteous, polite, and professional. Flip side of it, I tend to describe my work in flowery, euphemistic terms. I've also got, I cannot meet a new person without finding myself curious about what secrets they're keeping. As far as ideals, we've got retribution, everyone's guilty of something. We've got justice, those who believe that what they are doing protects the innocent from criminals. We've also got patience, which I thought was a fun one. You've got to make them sweat. No one gets the best results on day one. As far as bonds, there's bonds to each other. People hate us for what we have to do, and our loyalty to each other keeps us strong. There's I do what I do for love of king and country. And no one knows that my family is related to a torturer, and no one can find out. For flaws, once I catch the scent of blood, I can't hold myself back. I discuss my methods with an enthusiasm that many find off-putting. Or I am uncomfortable in bright lights or wide open spaces. Now, I think now's a good time to hop to the finished product because I've got a few little tweaks I made after printing that I want to talk about. Alright, so we have our page here. Overall, I like how it came out. I keep going a little bit bigger than I mean to on the text. It just looks so much smaller on my screen, and I've got to get used to that. That's something I'm still trying to get. Now, this is not going as is into the notebook because there were a couple of tweaks. 
Uh, small ones, just there was a bond and flaw that I thought ought to switch places. Uh, the bond was the things I've done keep me up at night and I don't know if I can ever atone for them. The desire for atonement kind of worked as a bond, but I feel like that one worked better as a flaw. And for flaws, I believe that everyone sent to me deserves what I have been tasked to do to them. Kind of worked as a flaw, but again, that kind of overlays a certain moral alignment on this character, and I think that one works better as a bond. It's what the character believes and what shapes their convictions. All right, uh, the big thing I had to change was the feature. The original feature I had was actually a thing any character can do, and I didn't realize that at the time. Uh, it was basically the ability that if you deal the killing blow, you can choose after the fact to say, actually that was non-lethal damage, they're just knocked out. I was thinking of older editions where you had to specify before the attack that you were doing non-lethal damage. Fifth edition, if you're the one who does the killing blow, killing blow, you can decide if it's a killing blow or a knockout blow. And so since that is already a feature everyone has, that can't be the special feature of the torturer, so I had to switch that out. Uh, what I've got to work with now is feature, state secrets. In the course of your work, you've learned a lot of things that the upper class wants to know or wants to suppress. You have advantage on intelligence-based skill checks related to secret knowledge. All right, so I think that's going to be useful. I think that fits well with how the backgrounds tend to do their things in general. Uh, but let me know what you think. With the skills, intimidation, and medicine, and a feature like that, do you think that this would be an overpowered background? That's one of the things I worry about, because a lot of homebrew content gets super overpowered. So, uh, still kind of figuring out how and where I would want to share the full text of this. Maybe I'll just throw it in the comments if people are that curious, but, uh... Yeah, for now, I've got a few tweaks before I make the finished version that actually stays in my notebook. And until next time, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Please share the video with a friend or several friends, and let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see me draw in a future video. Later, y'all!